Hi. 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 Yeah. Hi. 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 Yeah, we're here. Can you believe it? Wow. Wasn't it like only a couple of hours ago you were just here? Probably, maybe. Probably. <laughs> But, um, yeah, welcome to the Pod Podcast. We're going to actually start the podcast uh, before uh, this this time to go around. We're going to do the podcast, and then we're going to go into the Bible study. Uh, I hope that's, like, uh, somewhat understandable. Question mark? Because that's what we're going to do. And I'm hoping uh, this. Uh, I'm hoping that um, this is uh, this is uh, this is a good mic because the last time I used it, it sounded so low. Like it sounded completely low uh, in everything. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but welcome to the podcast. Pod, 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 podcast. Bum, bum. So, welcome to the podcast, by the way. What are we talking about? The podcast. <laughs> I don't know if y'all miss me. Uh, don't know if you did, but I'm here. And I do have some things to talk about. Unfortunately, we didn't have uh, anything to really uh, react to um, like we did the last few times. I know we had reacted. We did the last few um, the podcast before that um, with the um, Pokemon. I, I couldn't remember for a second. The Pokemon and then reacted to Splatoon. Uh, I believe we did that last last week, and hopefully this mic sounds good or better. I know it's a little bit low or better. I know it's a little bit low or better. I know it's a little bit low. But it also doesn't give a lot of feedback. Like the, the mic that I'm using now, it's not giving a lot of feedback. So, But I know it sounds a little bit low than the other mic. So, um, I'm definitely going to see how this, uh, turns out. Um, if it becomes too low, then I'll definitely change back to the other mic. Because I was scared to use this mic for a while because of how low it sounds. But, I'm just really curious of how this mic. But back to the podcast at hand. We are going to actually, uh, since we're not going to react to anything, um, there are some things that I do want to, uh, discuss uh, about some things that I have um, on the table, they're they're on they're on the table, right? They're they're literally on the table. And um, first, I want to talk about the gaming industry as a whole um, because you you have all the um, you know. Okay, cool. You know, you have all the competitors, right? You have the PlayStation, the Xbox, and Nintendo. You know, and usually Nintendo is always doing its thing over there. Like we all, we all kind of know that, right? <laughs> like it, it's like, what's Nintendo doing? I don't know. I know one year had a GameCube, and then it wanted to do motion controls. Yeah, it's 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 doing something. I believe it, it might be over there or maybe over there. I don't know. But the PlayStation Xbox is where it's at. The, the graphics, man. The graphics. But, um, uh, I feel like. <laughs> is my, am I too low? Is my, am I really am I too, too low? low? Is my, am I really am I too, too low? low? I hope not. If it is, I'm sorry. I'll definitely change back. Shania! Hello, hello, hello. This is your first time in. Hello to the podcast. This is late night podcast, though. But welcome to the podcast. Uh, please let me know 
um, because I'm switching mics as well at the same time. Uh, let me know how this mic sound. If it's way too low, then I will switch to the other mic. This, this mic is, is a bit low, but doesn't give a lot of feedback. The other mic, you can, it, it picks me up a little bit louder, but it also picks up a lot of feedback at the same time. So, uh, if you would like to let me know, I would appreciate it, but welcome, welcome, welcome in, though. Welcome, hi! So, uh, hopefully. If not, we will just switch to the other mic if it becomes too low. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the consoles. Yeah, you have the consoles doing their own things. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to start off with the PlayStation. Now, there was supposed to be a rumor, a rumor, of not a state of play, of a PlayStation showcase. And usually, from what I witnessed from their latest state of play that PlayStations have been doing, it just mainly focused on one game. And, you know, people are curious because of God of War Ragnarok. Because PlayStation owners, not including myself because I don't own a PlayStation. I own a Switch. But for people that owns a PlayStation. Um, I hope Shania can hear me. Shania, can you hear me? I'm going to actually type that down. Can you hear me? Or am I too low? Maybe. <laughs> Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So, people are saying God of War Ragnarok because of that and thinking that they're going to show more. So this is not going to be a state of play because um, PlayStation's owners are curious um, because there was stuff that was going to come out for PlayStation. Um, yep, you can hear me? Okay, cool. I was really curious. Hopefully, I don't sound too low. But um, PlayStation owners were curious because there was in, in this year alone, in this year, and I and I don't want to talk about it, but I it, 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 this is what the biggest topic is: is delays. There were so many games that were delayed, especially on PlayStation's end, because they want to they want God of War God of War Ragnar to be achievable be the game of the year material that's what they're aiming for they didn't want any new games they want to make sure that the spotlight is on god of war even though the xbox people are butthurt about it because they're going oh no my starfield oh oh my starfield oh my redfall Where's my exclusives? Why is these PlayStation owners getting these exclusives? It just looks like a big fat $70 DLC. It looks the same as the God of War that was made like a few years ago. It just looks like a big repackaged DLC, man. And that's how I expect people are. They, they, they're they getting a, a bit butthurt about that. You know... Because it's a competition. Because Xbox really don't have, um, from my knowledge, as of right now, like legitimately from my knowledge, I don't think there's any exclusives that's coming out. Especially during the fall. Yeah, I don't think there's any Xbox exclusives that are coming out. Lurkin brother, hey, fell master, hello. I'm actually getting people. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. I usually barely get anybody in the stream chat, but thank you for lurking. I'm just, I'm really shocked. I really am. I'm, I'm really shocked. But anyway, they're getting butthurt about this um, because, you know, they're Starfield, you know, being delayed there was so many games like there's a lot of games that were delayed not just starfield you know hogwarts legacy i want that game some of y'all that may know me i'm highly in hufflepuff i'm hufflepuff in my heart in my blood in my veins i am a hufflepuff i'm not a slytherin i'm not a gryffindor i'm not a ravenclaw i am a genuine hufflepuff is what i am 
And I am a big sucker for Harry Potter. I'm more for Harry Potter than Lord of the Rings. And some people will be, I'm more Lord of the Rings than Harry Potter. But Hogwarts Legacy got delayed. And we don't even know that. I, 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 like, I honestly forgot the Switch version even exists, but they didn't even announce the, the release date on that. So, you know, before going into delays, I don't know what PlayStation Showcase could show other than God of War Ragnarok. You know, you do have... What are games? Final Fantasy 16. What other, what other exclusives do PlayStation have? Uh... Don't they have that new Spider-Man 2 coming out? Question mark. What does PlayStation have? I know they have God of War Ragnar because people are talking about it. Uh, I, I hear like a computer sound going in my brain going... Ear, ear, ear. And then see my brain explode and then... Uh, I, I don't remember all the PlayStation exclusives. Yeah, Hufflepuff, yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I always enjoy watching State of Plays, even though I'm not a PlayStation owner. You know, you're talking to someone that's not into PlayStation. You know, that's more of a Nintendo person than anything, because I love more of the first parties than, than, you know, Xbox and PlayStation. But I do enjoy, you know, seeing stuff. You know, the state of play. Uh, the last one that I saw, if I remember correctly, showed Resident Evil 4 Remake. I believe it did. And I was like, <gasps> and going, <gasps> and going, <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> so much gasping at the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Because I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I believe that was the last day to play. I could be wrong on that. But I feel like that's the last day to play. But PlayStation Showcase is not a state of play. And they said it's supposed to be rumored. The thing is supposed to be happening this month in August. Not not September. People said no, it can't be September. It has to be this month. And I'm like, bruh, don't we have like, I don't know, like a week left? And then September is here. Like, PlayStation haven't said anything about this. That's why I don't like rumors. I did a whole podcast on that. Because, you know, I don't, I don't, like, I don't like rumors. Because <laughs> they're rumors. They're not real. They're not true. And then when they become true, I'm like, shush. <laughs> Hush it. It's not fair. <laughs> I kept on denying this, and then it actually becomes true. <laughs> but, um... I would honestly do a, a good reaction to it. It does give me a good time to uh, thank you for focusing webcam. Uh, it gives me a good podcast reaction, but I don't know what they could show off. I mean, I would love to see. I know we saw a good bit of Hogwarts Legacy. I honestly really want Hogwarts Legacy, like, like but I have to wait until February next year. Same with Resident Evil 4 remake. I have to wait. My heart is shattered into a million pieces. But we'll, but I'm going to be picking up these uh, some new games this fall, though. Ooh. But we're not going to get into that yet. But, um, yeah. I don't know if y'all are looking toward this uh, rumor PlayStation Showcase. If that's something interesting, if you have a PlayStation, maybe there's a game that you're interested in. Uh, like God of War Ragnarok. I know that everyone's really talking about that. And then... Uh, I, I didn't go into this. Not only are Xbox people mad about this, but PlayStation users are mad at this as well because they're like, no gameplay? Uh-uh. There's no gameplay. We don't even know how the game's going to play. Is it going to be straight up trash? Why do you keep showing these cinematic cutscenes? We've seen enough. We know what Kratos look like. We know what people look like. We want to see the gameplay. And being so butthurt about it. And, like, I'm sure it's going to be Game of the Year because the 2018 one did phenomenally well. 
So, you know, I, I know it kind of sucks because even for me, I, I kind of want to see gameplay too. When I see games that I like and really want to see gameplay of, like Resident Evil 4 Remake, I want to see gameplay of that before it released. I want to see gameplay of that, you know, as a fan. So I can understand, you know, that if you're a fan of God of War series, even though I'm not a true fan, I remember playing, like, the PSP ones and some of the PS2 ones, and that's it, like, the older Call of Duty, the Call of Duty God of War. <laughs> not Call of Duty God of War. My bad. So, um, yeah, you have people that are just being mad about that, saying, like, like there's no gameplay, there's nothing, you know, why should I spend 70 bucks on this? And people are complaining that 70 bucks is a high price for a game. Like, I, I like, people are complaining that, like, I'm glad that's not for the Nintendo stuff, because the highest I've seen is 60 so I'm, I'm thankful as a Nintendo owner, I don't have to pay $70. You know, just for example, this is just for example, when Splatoon 3 comes out, it's going to be 60 bucks. When Pokemon Scarlet and Violet comes out, both of them will be uh, 60 bucks. <laughs> uh, Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 reboot, another game that's been delayed, and there's no release date. I hope that's going to be like 50 or 40 bucks, because I don't see that as a 60 buck price tag. But, but, I don't know if it will be um, a, a lot because people, because I want to do a podcast on this and I have it and I want to include it in this podcast. The reason I didn't do a podcast because if some of y'all may know, my Discord account got hacked way back. I got that back. My Twitch account got suspended because of trolls. Here I am streaming. I got that back. So there was stuff going on in my life that just deserves to be on the podcast. But I want to talk about a little bit of The Last of Us remake. And a lot of people, and I never play Last of Us. Alright, I don't own, I'm going to keep saying this, I don't own a PlayStation. I don't have a PlayStation, okay? I'm not interested in PlayStation exclusives. If you like Last of Us, cool, cool, it looks good. I heard the story is good, you know. But people look at Last of Us Part 2 and then Last of Us Remake. And that Last of Us Part 2 looks better. Better on a PlayStation 4. This is not a PlayStation 5 game. A PlayStation 4 game versus Last of Us Remake that's coming to the PlayStation 5. And now people are getting upset because it just looks like a graphic overhaul and that is it. Like, no new game, nothing about that. Um, and I heard some mixed things about Last of Us Part Two. Like, the story kind of sucked, but the gameplay is awesome. I, I, I don't know if that's true. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I heard. Yeah. Um, that's probably the last time I'm going to do that on any podcast. But, um, yeah, but people say that The Last of Us Part 2 looks better than Last of Us Part 1 Remake. And to be honest, they kind of look the same. I'm not, like, going from me perspectively, you know, looking at it from my perspective, I really don't care about graphics that much. Like, you can have the best graphics in the game, but for me it's, for, it's the gameplay. Like, am I going to enjoy the way the game is going to be played? You know, I'm not going to just jump on the bad wagon if it has a name in it. You know, and stuff like that. Like, if you have Resident Evil, I hope I never, I hope this never exists. Capcom, shut your ears if you're ever listening to this. If Resident Evil decides just out of nowhere, let's just, let's just say out of nowhere, it, it becomes a tactical RPG, a turn-based RPG strategy game, I would be like, that's not Resident Evil. I'm not picking that up. I don't care how big of a Resident Evil fan I am. I'm not picking that up. I don't care if it has anything to do with the story. That's not the gameplay. That is not, nope, I don't want it. 
Like that's not that's not the game that defines Resident Evil. Like Resident Evil's horror. It's not a strategy RPG tactical game. I'm sorry, no. You know, if that ever happens and hopefully it doesn't because it I because I don't think it will ever be unless Capcom is really stupid or drunk to come up with that idea. Or listen to me and be like, man, this dude is giving us ideas. I'll be like, please don't. <laughs> please don't ruin my franchise. You did it once. Don't do it again. Um, But yeah, I would, I would say it just like that. But at the same time, I would like... I would like... How, how do I put this? I'm trying to think of a perfect way to s- because with The Last of Us Part Two and Last of Us Remake, I from what it looks like in that gamers are upset, I can probably see where they're coming at because it does look like a graphic overhaul. It does graphically look better. You know, if you compare it side by side, it graphically it looks better, but the gameplay is still the same. And they thought they're going to add some gameplay from Last of Us Part Two. You know, since the gameplay was like ten times better there. I don't know. I never played the game, but that's just what I heard. So, and then people's calling out and saying like, no, 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 seventy dollars shouldn't be for a PlayStation Five game because they looked at that as a ripped off, a rip off. So I'm like, well, and, and PlayStation, and, and people are saying they're, that society is trying to make this normal now. How $60 have been normal for years. I don't know how many years, but years. You know, you get a new system, you know, whatever it is. During that generation, you see a game that's probably like 60 bucks. You know, Fallout 3, 60 bucks. It's probably... The last time I seen it was like ten bucks, uh, maybe less than that, five bucks since it came out like what two thousand eight. <laughs> but I'm just saying that as an example, and I, to me, looking at within, and think it doesn't really deserve any dollars because there's some games where we can all look at them and judge them for their price tag. You know, talking like if if the, if, if Resident Evil series, right? Resident Evil 3 Remake came out like two years ago, I believe, 2020. I could be wrong on that. Um, 2020. And to me, it did not feel like a $60 game. Um, I got it on sale. I picked it up on sale because of how many people I heard about it saying, don't pick up this game unless you pick it up on sale. And they're like, if you just want a movie version of Resident Evil 3... Here it is. And I've beaten Resident Evil 3 Remake a few times. And to be honest, I do like it, but it's just too, too dang short for that $60 price tag. You know, and it really depends on how much you're getting out of it and how, you know, expensive the game, you know, not expensive, but how much you can do in the game. Because if you pay $60 for it and you beat it like three to four hours... It definitely does not feel like 60 bucks is worth it to you. It definitely does not. You know, Resident Evil Village, the later, the last Resident Evil game that was released, to me, it was $60 worth it. I paid full price for that. And I have beaten it, I don't know how many times at this point. But it was worth it of how much content was stored in that game. That's $60 price tag. You know, there was so much stuff that you can do, so much stuff that you can experiment, so much things you can explore. There is quite a good bit of optional stuff. There is like two optional, two or three, wait a minute. Yeah, no. How many times have I played this game? Two. Two. There's one there and there's one there. No, three, my bad. There's one there. Yeah, three optional bosses. Alright? Three optional bosses. But what I see here with The Last of Us 
And if they do the same thing with Resident Evil, I would be a bit upset too. You know, so I'm, I'm, that's why I was trying to do it from my standpoint, looking in, since I'm not a Last of Us, you know, person. I'm a Resident Evil person. So um, that's what I'm looking at. And PlayStation fans are looking at it. Then Xbox is looking in, you know, and going, this sucks. You know, why are you getting these games? Blah, 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 blah. You know. You know, and I, I know it's a competition from a business standpoint. You know, you want to have good exclusives. And then some people see, and this is this is the crappiest part, right? Some people actually see exclusives as anti-consumers practices. And I'm like, what? Anti-practice? How? Because they're like, well, it should be, it shouldn't be released. It destroys the console. Like, no. Like to me, no. Like, all right. Imagine this. Let's just imagine. Let's say you got a console, and let's say it's called the Game Spear. I don't know. And let's say all the games were made on it. There were no uh, any other console, just the Game Spear. Yeah, Microsoft doing exclusives on it. Yeah, PlayStation doing exclusives on it. You have Nintendo doing exclusives on it. You have all these big first parties on your game spear, okay? You have big first parties playing on your game spear. That that wouldn't be good because it will remove because there are some good indie games out there. Good, well polished indie games that I have played. Hades, great game. Untitled Goose Game, great game. Like there's there's some good indies out there. And if you and if you just had one console to do it all, then that console will be, you know, like it will be probably a bunch of shovelware. A lot of Game companies would not have to put a whole lot of heart and soul into it because it's not a competition. It's like, yeah, just put whatever crap we could put on there. Put a lot of shovelware like with the Wii. You know how many crappy games are for the Wii? Oh my gosh, there's so many. But you you get the idea. I don't understand how it can be a anti-consumer practice because. Look at it. They are putting hard work in because it's becoming a competitive. You know, it's becoming really competitive. Like, you, you're you going to have so many games that's going to be for the game of the year. You know, I heard Cena Chronicles 3 that came out for the Switch. Game of the year attender. Elder Ring. Game of the year attender. You know, if we're not going to look at first party stuff, let's look at something a little bit more, even though Elder Ring is a bit third party. Lego Star Wars, the Skywalker. You have that game. You know, God of War Ragnarok is coming out. Oh, let's not forget the two Pokemon games that sells out the store shelves. Like, you're going to have all of this. But the thing is, if there wasn't any competition, then it would just be crap. And I don't, I wouldn't want that. You know, from a consumer standpoint, I would not like it whatsoever. You know, you buy a console that you're exclusive on. Like, yeah, it will kind of suck if you're interested in something that's on, like, PlayStation or Xbox. You know, PlayStation. It has the God of War. You know, God of War 2018 did. There are important games to PC. Um, but still, there's some exclusive stuff on the PlayStation. That you can only play on the PlayStation. And you don't just pick up a console for just one game. You see, you know, a series or third parties that that spice up the game. Like, for me, I'm a Nintendo owner. Alright? I love I love my Switch. I love Nintendo products. Like, I'm a, I'm a sucker for Legend of Zelda. Like, I'm a Hylian. I am a complete sucker for Zelda series. I love Legend of Zelda, you know, 
But you know what sold me for the Switch? You know what actually won me to get a Switch? It wasn't a Zelda game. It was Mario Maker 2. That was the reason why I picked up the Switch. Because I knew there were some good games on there that I would probably play more than on PlayStation. Like, there might be some games that's on the PlayStation and Switch. You know, like the Borderlands. Even though that was like PlayStation 3-ish. Um, Skyrim. That's kind of PlayStation 3-ish. Um, I mean, the Switch ain't powerful. But you get you get what I'm saying here. That's why I don't see it as a anti-consumer practice. I don't understand it, and I, 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 it, like, like, yeah, I get it from a business standpoint, you want something to sell well, when you craft a machine, a console, and you're making an exclusive, you want your system to be the system seller, right, from a business standpoint, if you're looking at it from their point of view, that's what you want, but from a consumer, you may really want the game, but maybe just buying the console is just isn't enough. You know. I just I just want to talk about that as well because it's 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 ridiculous. Like, oh no, man, God of War's getting this DLC. We're butthurt about it that we're not getting our exclusive Starfield. <laughs> um, and then people people is even hating for spoken. Because of how cringe it is. You know how stupid jokes are out there and they can fail miserably? Like, um, I'm trying to think of something. Like, let's say someone in a video game. <coughs> and they die. And let's say all of a sudden, like, it's supposed to be, like, in a really emotional scene, especially if you're drawn out to that character. All of a sudden that, you know, the main character or a side character died in whatever video game. And then you have a person going, man, we're going to have to bust this down to the grave. Like, that's not funny. That's not funny at all. You're ruining a good scene in a video game. And people are describing that with Forspoken. They are. They're they're really describing it with Forspoken. Um, I know Forspoken is like I think it's a PlayStation exclusive. I think. And to be honest, it does look kind of confusing looking at the gameplay and looking at it. It kind of looks. It, it does kind of look confusing on what the game is and what the game does. Um, because it does look a bit confusing, to say it at the very least. Because I can't even grasp and understand, and if someone asks me, hey, do you know what Forspoken is? I won't be like, uh, Forspoken, Forspoken. Uh, I believe you fight something, and then I think you fly. I think, I think you have some attachment to your arm. Yeah, but I don't. I don't know. It's. I know they shut off a little bit or a good bit of gameplay, but still, I don't understand the concept of the game. So. I don't know. I heard that's supposed to be an exclusive, but that's what people are saying. To me, the game looks okay. I mean, I would. I. I don't like corny jokes like that. You know, I don't want to sit there and you know. All of a sudden, you know, uh, just trying to pull up another example. Let's just say, let's just say I finally craft something in the game. You know, let's say I'm playing Minecraft. And let's say I finally crafted, I finally got the stuff. And let's say I went to, you know, the thing at the crafter box. And I, I make something. And then all of a sudden I hear someone saying... Woohoo, man, that will be a crafting experience. Like, that's not funny. Like, that's a poor joke. Like, even Marvel movies even do it. 
And that's why the jokes are so stale. And that's why the latest Marvel movies, to be honest, are kind of complete trash. I'm not going to lie to you. The Doctor Strange movie, it's it's not that great. Uh, The Thor movie, the Love and Thunder, it's, it's not that great. And it makes me wonder for Black Panther, because of these corny Joe, is it, it, like the thing can be completely ruined. So I can understand where people are coming from. I really can because it just ruins the whole entire experience. Is what it does. That's what it really does. And I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't like it in any game. Um. But yeah, we're going to move off of PlayStation. I'm pretty sure some of y'all might be sick of me talking about PlayStation. Uh, let's talk about Nintendo. Yeah, let's talk about let's talk about Nintendo. Nintendo, yeah. Um, I hope they port Game Boy Advance online. That would be great. On a Nintendo Switch online. That's been heavily rumored, and it's still rumored. And guess what? Switch Pro or Switch 2 is still out there. Rumor, like, good grief. What upsets me is Nintendo is not saying nothing about this. Not saying nothing about this. Like, nothing. And I don't even remember the last time they even did a mainline direct either. You know, usually during the month of September, according to track record, every September they do a Nintendo Direct. I usually try to react to them because I I get very, 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 very extremely, extremely hyped for it because I'm a Nintendo person. You can even call me maybe a fanboy, a fanboy at this point because I love it, but I don't boycott everything they do. But, um, because they did a video about a few days ago, and this is dumb. This is really dumb. I don't know why Nintendo's doing this. I wish I could understand the reason. They did a video to show you how to download DLC. When DLC has been around since when like 360 ps3 era right i don't think it came like and now in 2022 that's the year we're in to show us how to download dlc what why nintendo like do you think we're complete idiots do you nintendo look at me in the eye do you think i'm stupid do you think i'm stupid it reminds me of the disney scene you know, no, it's the bug's like, do you think I'm stupid? Do you think I'm an idiot? I know how to download DLC, Nintendo. I know how to download it on the Switch. I bought Breath of the Wild DLC. I know how to download it on the Switch. What, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? What, what do you mean? That's what I'm thinking online is got to, because... Because there has to be a reasoning. And to be honest, I feel like... Because if you look at their expansion pack, at first it was not worth it. You know, 100% day one, when that Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack released, it was not worth it, like, period. At all. Like, whatsoever. You would turn down a heartbeat. But they have the Animal Crossing... Mario Kart 8 Booster, Splatoon 2, and I think that's about it. And then you have a handful of N64 and Sega Genesis. So it does look kind of worthy at this point. It does look like that. Even though I don't have an expansion pack. I only pay the $20 a year for the bases. I, I have not, you know, switched to the expansion pack where that was like, what, $50 a year or something like that? 
I know they're adding a bit more N64 games, even though it, it feels completely random. The last thing they did was Wave Ray 64. Cool. Just announced that out of nowhere, like, when we don't even know or have a heads up saying, like, oh, this is what gang um, are coming. Because to make the expansion pack worth it, I wonder if they're going to add the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. Or maybe just maybe add the Game Boy and Game Boy Color to the original Switch Online to give them a taste and put the Advance on the expansion pack. Maybe. I don't know. But I feel like it's going to get very interesting. I, I, I do. I feel like it will get extremely interesting because I love the Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance is pretty cool. You know, you have your Metroid Fusion, you have your Metroid Zero Mission, you have The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, you have the Mega Man Zero games, you know, you have the Mario games that were ported over, you have the Donkey Kong games that was ported over, the Castlevania games, Arrow Sorrow, Harmony of Dissonance, The Circle of the Moon, mmm, that's like, mmm, good quality stuff right there. You know, the Pokemon games, obviously, you know, there's some good games, but I don't, I, that's why I feel like a direct should be happening, you know, for all of this. You know, we know that Pokemon did their thing and stuff like that. Like, Breath of the Wild 2, you delay that. Nintendo have delayed Breath of the Wild 2. I, I, I lost count. How many times have they delayed it? Like, three times? Because it was supposed to be the same thing as Breath of the Wild. Like, the same engine and the same stuff over here except with new stuff. It's like the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask situation. If you remember that, with Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, graphically, they look the same. There are the same aspects. But the thing is, you get different experience from each of the game. When you play Ocarina of Time, you get a different experience from Majora's Mask. When you play Majora's Mask, you're going to get a different experience than playing Ocarina of Time. And I don't know if that's their goal that they're showing, I know it's supposed to be a bit bigger since you're you're going to be up in the sky and they do show off new abilities. I wish they showed off a bit more. And like I said, that's not the only game that has been delayed. Offense Wars 1 Plus 2, the reboot, I remember being so happy for that. It's been, it's, it's coming close to almost a year and it's been delayed. It was supposed to be releasing originally during Christmas time and then got pushed back early this year and it got pushed back to to to, to God knows where at this point because it's just it's it's a lot all right it's it's extremely extremely a lot of how each game is delayed. And usually, I would say a good game needs a delay. Because I want the game to be well published and not push out the door like Fallout 76 did, or No Man's Sky, you know, or Cyberpunk 2077 when that was pushed out the door. You know, Metal Slug Tactics, that got delayed. Rivet City Girls 2 got delayed. Marvel Midnight Suns got delayed. Seasons, Warhammer, 4000 Dark Tide, got delayed. The Lord of the Rings, Gollum, got delayed. Avatar, front, The Frontiers of Pandora, Star Wars Hunters, got delayed. Immortality, Sea of Stars, Homeworld 3, Replays, Teacher, Test Drive Unlimited, like Starfield, Redfall, you know, The Witcher 3, The Current Gen, Breath of the Wild sequel that we were just talking about. Oh, that Suicide Squad game. Oh, yeah, that was supposed to be... Oh, it got pushed back. Oh, it got delayed. Oh, yeah. Stalker 2, the DLC, got delayed. Sellers got delayed. Forspoken got delayed. Like, there's so many games that got delayed. 
in to me. I know COVID kind of played a part, you know, especially back in 2020, where it pushes games back. We already know COVID happened, and, and, and unfortunately, it's still here with all of us. COVID still exists. It's still here. It's, it's, it is here. It is here. But... And uh, and also I'm understanding that games are taking a bit long because the games are getting expensier and expanding more graphically. You know the games are getting a lot bigger, and it takes a lot, a lot of time to develop a game. And I feel like they, I feel like gaming companies put out the game so early, saying here's the teacher. Teaser, not teacher. I don't know why I said teacher. Teaser. I mean, Metroid Prime 4. Are we going to ever see anything else besides the logo? And that, you know, Retro Studios is working on it. Probably not. Unfortunately. Probably, more than likely not. It's, it's, it's just fact. So... I don't know if Breath of the Wild 2 is going to get delayed again. I just, I honestly feel like a Direct should be happening soon. Like, very, very soon. Because I'm pretty sure, you know, not only me as a Nintendo, you know, fan and stuff like that. um, Because I would like to play Breath of the Wild 2. After replaying Breath of the Wild, and I know my first time, I really didn't like it. And then actually playing it through, it's not a bad game. Is it my favorite Zelda game? No, it's still at the bottom tier out of all the Zelda games I ever played. You know. You know, Link's Awakening. I love that game a lot more than Breath of the Wild. Link's Awakening Remake was better, in my opinion, than Breath of the Wild. But I'm still looking forward to Breath of the Wild 2. But the thing is, I don't know if it's going to get delayed again. Or if something's going to happen on Nintendo's side. Um, because I would like to hear a direct. You know, I've been, I keep hearing these rumors for so long. For Metroid Prime HD Collection. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Remake Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3. Bundle it up. That would be cool, wouldn't it? You know, I was even hearing Wind Waker HD and Twilight Prince HD to be packaged up together and be sold. You know, Game Boy Advance, like there's so many, there's, there's more rumors for Nintendo than I hear for any other console. You know, like, Xbox Starfield does look interesting. I'm not going to lie. Starfield looks like it could be fun. Same with Redfall. I love Bethesda. Except for 76. Because it doesn't... We, we I choose to see it not existing. Because it's, it's 76. It's 76. Moving on. <laughs> But, um, yeah, that's just for me, from a Nintendo standpoint, is with this and delays. And I think that's what I'm going to call this podcast, is delays, because, like, I do want a good game that is not rushed out, and something that's well, you know, good received, like Village, you know. Um, I don't remember having any problems with it. I know I had to wait because it was during finals week for me at that time. So, because I knew if I were to play it, I wouldn't be able to uh, do well on my finals during that finals week. Because it did release like May 8th of 2021, over a year ago. And I remember being so happy for it and I was like, I can't, I can't play it. I was like, I cannot play it. I had to resist myself so much. And then when finals was over, that's all I wanted to do was play that game. 
because I was so looking forward to it. I love it half to death. And that's why I want I want a good published a polished game that has good content to worth that price tag. You know, the 2 and 3 remake, I don't feel like it deserved the 60 bucks when it was a re- uh, release. You know, I think Resident Evil 2 remake might, I know it's been a few years, so maybe about 40 or 30. Same with Resident Evil 3 remake. Um, Resident Evil 3 remake should have been about 30 bucks. Like, cut that price in half since you cut content from the game. But, um, yeah, it's... I want it to at least be well polished um, with the games. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say for uh, this week's uh, podcast. Um, If the PlayStation Showcase um, did decide to happen, then we'll definitely just do a reaction to it of whatever it, it tends to, you know, show, you know, whatever it may be. Um... But let me know if anybody's still here. Is is any of this, you know, worth it to to you? You know, is there anything that is um, interesting? You know, is the PlayStation 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 interesting? You know, is the PlayStation? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, PlayStation interests you, and then I had to do that. I'm sorry. I was listening in to how loud I am because I, I just feel like I'm too low, but, you know, I was just going to have to rewatch this back and just see. But, um, yeah, I would love to know, you know, where y'all stand on this. You know, are you excited for any games that are going to come out in the fall? Because, you know, you got some good big hit hitters that are coming out, you know, for the month of September, October, November, and December. You know, the Pokemon games, you know, for the Switch, God of War, Ragnarok, and I don't know what else for the Xbox. I don't even know. Don't even, don't even, don't even know. Don't, don't even know. Don't even know. I don't even know. But um, I hope that y'all enjoyed this podcast. And now we are going to actually switch it over to Bible study. Bible study time. We're going to switch it to Bible study with your boy. With your boy.